Hey everyone, Cos here from Cos Magic Arts on uh, YouTube. Thank you for tuning into another video. Uh, what I really want to talk about in this video is basically me doing concept art for uh, robots. And of course, some of you have known about me doing robot concept designs uh, quite a few times. I've even like had you seen me do like Unit C7 on my Cos Magic Studios page on Facebook. Be sure to go follow that if you haven't gotten a chance to. And uh, <clears throat> so, really, Unit C7 is now being picked up by uh, One Two Three Go Publications. I'm gonna give you guys a little link to that in the description down below, and uh, definitely feel free to go by that page and give it a support. Uh, definitely give it a follow on Instagram. I am the one that's actually in charge of running both uh, accounts. Uh, <laughs> kind of need a little bit of help on that since I got everything else going on. But uh, One Two Three Go Publications uh, is going to be it's an independent uh, comic book company that has been going on for quite a little bit now. I'm actually one of the founders of it. But a um, big shout out to Phoebe A. Xavier who put me on board of actually putting out. Uh, some content and actually allow me to be able to work on some comics with her. We've got a team of people. We've actually got some that are being developed right now. But as a, as we speak, Unit C7 itself, which is my pride and joy right now, is actually going to be a part of 123 Gold Publications. Uh, right now, uh, Unit C7 is going to be introduced in Gunmetal Black Ops issue number three. They're currently working on issue number two right now. As a matter of fact, of uh, what we're speaking of, um, for the first issue that I've worked on, it was Black Cauldron, and of course there was another story that was mixed in it called uh, God Sword, I believe, and it's featuring a character called Malik. So we got some really big things going on with uh, No One Two Three Go Publications. Like I said, I'll put the link in the description for you guys to be able to go and follow. Uh, feel free to show a lot of support. I'm actually planning on putting some more content out on it very soon. And uh, definitely uh, feel free to help spread the word about that. So uh, to continue forward, so I've already gone ahead and mapped out the shape of the robot that I want to design. And this is the one thing that I want to really just uh, talk about the most is concept, concept design. <clears throat> Excuse me. Concept design really is not all that simple like a lot of people would think it is. Yes, it is a fact that when you're actually doing concept art for characters, you really want to try to come up with a design that's actually going to make uh, not just an impact, but also, a, um, sorry, <laughs> I'm barely able to speak today. I've actually had a very long uh, work week. You really want to come up with a design that's going to actually work. And when you're presenting this to a client, you want it to actually uh, make a sale. I'm actually going to be doing some little sketches here to actually uh, get it started. I may, I'm not going to probably like sketch all of them out, but really this is just multiple designs of what the robot could look like. Really, this is a robot that I'm actually coming up with for the uh, third issue of Government of Black Ops that Unit C7 is going to be facing off against. And I've already gotten, I've already written out the plot of what the uh, story is supposed to be about. Phoebe is actually going to write out the story for me. And we're hoping to just let the third issue just be about Unit C7 himself. We're aiming to actually get this done by spring, uh, from what I understand. So really, just the concept design or concept art, as you want to talk about, as I was saying before, is basically just coming up with ideas of characters. And, of course, some people actually use that to do environments. I'm really taking everything that I've heard from Trent. Uh, shout out to uh, Trent Kanuga, who, uh, whose book I bought on uh, the world of Twilight Monk. And everything he said was really spot on. So... Really, this is not illustration. This is just me coming up with concept designs. And there's a really big difference in that. Of course, some people probably get it confused with you know concept illustration. 
or you know art illustration or art concept and really illustration is just one big drawing that's pretty much what it is concept is this series of what you're seeing right here and really if you want to like look up more youtube videos of, between the difference of concept art and uh art illustration uh definitely feel free to do so because uh trent canuga really explained it very well because he's been doing uh things for blizzard and he's also uh come out with his own game called um Ikeda. and i haven't gotten a chance to actually play it yet i did download it from the steam store but it really it, it, it looks very interesting and i'm definitely into that old school uh gaming style that's got it that's got it going on but talking about this uh robot right here now i haven't actually come up with an exact name of this robot quite just yet but it's supposed to be one of those low-end robots that the factory develops and of course unit c7 uh the way i got the story going is that unit c7 was a part of a set of uh units that he was supposed to be uh a part of however at the end of the story they've uh, collected some battle data of just unit c7 himself because he malfunctions because he malfunctions and he he was so much he he performed so well under the battle data that they decided they would actually put him into a much different program and of course at that point I'm actually going to give him a different name of what uh, he could be. I need to make sure that I actually tell Phoebe that before we actually really jump into uh, the story a little bit deeper. But yes, I'm actually uh, going to give him a little bit of a different name. Well, a bit of a different name. And that way, when he actually becomes the robot that they uh, turn him into, then he would get the name Unit C7 and then he would actually go on to where when he meets up with Colette later on, I mean, yes, Colette is going to be in the story, of course, but not Sophie. Of course, we're going to be talking about Stephanie as well. Uh, Stephanie is one of the other characters that I actually developed. Uh, really, this entire book here, or should I say this entire sketchbook that I have, is specifically Unit C7 concept artwork that I've been doing with, and also art illustrations that I've actually turned into a poster. So it's still... It's still a good uh, thing for me to actually just have this concept. I mean, I'm sorry, this sketchbook of where I'm just working in nothing but nothing, just Unit C7 specifically. So that way, Unit C7 could just be that one reference thing that I just go to on this one. And if I ever actually get a chance to do uh, hybrid children, then I will get a separate sketchbook and just do uh, hybrid children in that one. Uh, Really, um, I really had no clue that I was going to be doing this much more with Unit C7 because Phoebe saw the comic that I had released online on uh, Tapas and Webtoons, and really, she really loved the uh, art style and the layouts of each page. Really, I was just getting into the swing of getting uh, used to Clip Studio. And now that I've actually gotten more familiar with the tools and gotten better at the coloring. Whew, I'm trying not to sneeze. I'm, I'm trying to hold my sneeze at the moment. But after I gotten so used to just being able to work with uh, Clip Studio, I now know that when I work on the next comic, things are going to be a little bit better. And plus, I got this Gaiman here, too, so that way I can actually look more at what I'm drawing instead of actually looking on the screen at something and then having to draw down here like what you're seeing me doing right now. Instead, I'm actually looking at the paper and actually drawing on it, which is really nice of what I'm able to do with the Gaiman. Um, if you want to know about, more about the Gaiman, definitely check it out. It's really worth the price of what I paid for it. Uh, I actually got it back in want to say uh february yeah it was actually february when i actually got this device i am so in love with it and i don't know why my computer was actually trying to 
fade out on me, but that's not cool. Anyway, uh, <laughs> but it's definitely worth the investment of what I've got. But anyway, back to the concept art. I'm actually really liking that first design that I've done right there. Back to the uh, concept art. Really, as I said before, I want the robot to look like it's a very tough robot but not one of those high class type of robots like what you would see with Unit C7 himself or with RXT4. And it's really just something to help progress the story along, something that I know will actually give it some kind of challenge. And I think this, with the size of this robot right here, it's perfect to actually face off against Unit C7 because Unit C7 is a tall robot, but he's not hes not a big, bulky type of robot. So having him face off against a bulky robot will probably set the standards a little bit better. And I want to see about what features this robot particularly could have. I may not just go all out with it anyway. I would say probably like a little blaster right there or whatever, but we'll just have to see. And that's the whole point of what you're coming up with concept art is that you're trying to figure out what characteristics will make a character work and the idea of actually basically just des design and personality. And of course, a lot of robots don't have personalities, but I would like to have my robots to have some personalities, some features about them that will make them so unique to the eye of the viewer. And so far, like I said, I really like what this design is coming out to. I was actually playing around with some designs at well, work yesterday because I had another sketchbook and I decided that I just want to kind of like sketch him out and see what he would look like. So that's why I actually got him to look in the way he is right now. Because uh, I was very satisfied with the design that I came up with yesterday. But not only just that, but also when you're doing um, a concept illustration, well, I'm sorry, concept art, you're dealing with certain angles. You're Well, not just angles, but you want to do like a rotation. So you see that there's like a frontal, like almost profile view. And then there's a profile, I'm sorry, a frontal view. Right here, we've got a profile view. And this one is more of like the back view, but we're probably not going to go all the way to that one right there. As I was saying before, if you really want to like get more in depth of concept art and also with illustrations, then I would highly recommend that you guys look up other videos on exactly how to do that. I've only gotten better at this because of the fact that now that I've been doing it for so long and been looking up other videos and taking advice from others, then I'm just kind of like passing it along to you guys to actually understand the difference between uh, concept art and illustration, but also just kind of give you a little bit of a rundown of what I'm working on here, and hopefully, I know I'm rambling a lot, <laughs> but hopefully, uh, whatever info I'm giving out actually helps. Uh, some things I still am learning to actually get better at. And I may put like some kind of markings here. Well, really, this is like some kind of a shoulder pad. I'm guessing that uh, when it gets to one point, uh, hopefully if Phoebe allows it, this robot would be like a shoulder rush. He looks more like a football player. So this one, is, uh, this one specifically does have like the body size that I really want it to have. I didn't really know exactly what the heck I really wanted him to look like at first, but I went on to an art station to uh, look up like different concept arts, but I also had to use references. That's another thing that I want to like say out to you guys. If ever you decide you want to like get into uh, doing custom art, it's not it doesn't do any harm to use references of what to actually come up with. Like yes, uh, Unit C7, I, just, I didn't really use any references, but I just kind of like uh, use uh, just basically just made him out of the blue but for this robot here particularly I had to look up reference photos 
and see exactly what I really wanted to come up with. And that's how your that's how your ideas flow out. It's exactly how your ideas flow out. You just find something that works and then you take pieces of some ideas from here and there and just actually kind of use it, but just give it a little bit of a tweak. Uh, if you like the thruster pack that you see on somebody's character, you say, hey, I want a character that has like a thruster pack, but not exactly that kind of thruster pack. Then yes, use the ideas. And there are th th those are very big exceptions when you're actually coming up with character designs in general. I actually have books on how to draw robots and the books really have been very helpful because of the fact that at first I was not very good at drawing robots. I just was not. But after just looking up uh, robot books and actually getting uh, other concept books of like Alita Battle Angel, which is a fantastic film, by the way, once you actually uh, progress along with the story. Like I've read a bit of the manga and I've watched the um, the OVA, and it was uh, beautiful. The movie was just uh, beautifully done. Like just the visual, uh, the visuals, and the uh, the the storyline. It was just well done. But as I was saying, I was I had I got a book on that, and I also got the uh, book on Ghost in the Shell, which is another anime, of course, or should I say manga that uh, is very popular, and just seeing the mechanical works and also the um, concepts that they use for each creation really just uh, really just makes you wonder like how they really all put it together, and that's the purpose of why you just want to get those art books like that, because you want to see how things were put together, and you just want to impl uh, imply that to what you're doing here. Yes, everything that I actually picked up from those, I just like imply it here and just actually keep going with the uh basically just keep going with the ideas that I come up with. Probably just gonna go ahead and put a little circle there. I'll go ahead and put one right here too. And see I go back and forth from both of these because of the fact that once I come up with one idea somewhere, I gotta make sure that I put it somewhere else. So that way I can keep up with that same idea. And like I said, that all borders back down to where you're doing concept uh, designs or concept art. So I hope that, uh, I hope all that info has really helped. And I really do uh, hope that you guys uh, take on what I said. Or if you want more info to really just go and look up more videos that actually explain those. And I do wish you guys the best of luck on that. Because uh, especially like if you're going to be selling the ideas to a client, you want to actually, you really want to try to make it pop. And you just want to make some kind of uh, sell there. Like you want to sell them some kind of idea. And trust me, when I got into doing independent comics, like, yes, I was asked ideas that I just did not know I was going to be asked. So, uh, really, really, uh, the way I landed that was that I just kind of uh, put out uh, some artwork online. Like, yes, I put it out on Facebook, and I just got contacted by Phoebe herself on working on some comics. And so she asked me, have I ever worked on comics before? And it was just personal comics that I've actually worked on. I've never worked on a comic for anybody else. I've never done like any of that professional stuff for anybody else. Uh, but now that I actually kind of dive into the uh, world of doing indie comics, I've actually completed three indie comics so far. I have. And it has been a, a very... Uh, thrilling experience because now I'm starting to get the idea of what kind of sales, I mean, I'm sorry, what kind of uh, questions that they're going to be asking, like people are going to be asking about page rates or uh, many things. Like I didn't know anything about page rates or none of that. Like I just didn't. So she was asking me, what's my page rate? I said, I have no clue. So I just kind of like just winged it and just worked with it. 
Uh, some people do have a plan because they've been doing a lot of research and a lot of research. Um, pretty much the type of where yes, I will do some research, but you're better. It's better when you just go and experience it firsthand, so that way you can just pass on the knowledge to somebody else. But as I was saying before, uh, I do hope that you guys really do and uh, really did enjoy the info that I gave you. Um, definitely feel free to kind of pass it on to somebody else or kind of like learn a little bit uh, more yourself and do some research. And I'm going to uh, just continue to draw this and really just kind of like keep coming up with some ideas because right now he's looking super awesome. He really is. Um, the next thing I'm going to be thinking about is like color and a few other things. Actually, I'm going to be doing all of this right now since I'm actually talking about it. <laughs> but uh, get some books, uh, keep studying, keep at what you guys are doing. And uh, I hope you guys have a great weekend. Uh, also, uh, if you guys do have time, uh, definitely uh, go by Facebook and give it a like. Or you know, give feel free to give me a follow on all of my social media for whatever social media actually best suits you. On Saturdays, I will be doing uh, art and chat underground. Uh, for those of you that don't know, and it will be at four o'clock Central Time, like every Saturday. There are some Saturdays of where I'm just not able to do it because of me actually working on projects or I've been called into my day job. But yes, uh, definitely feel free to tune into like all of my live streams on Facebook, and uh, you know, feel free to sit down and chat with me. I'm actually trying to get to a point of where I'm gonna be uh, starting to chat on uh, Fa not Facebook, but uh, YouTube, and see how that works out for me. But anywho, you guys take care of yourselves. Uh, peace out. Uh, love each other. Stay safe. And for those of you that are in the path of the hurricane that is about to hit Florida. Please be careful. Uh, take care of your loved ones. Be safe. I wish you all the best of luck.